Okay, we're continuing with our wooden storm window sash restoration here. Um, and our epoxy wood filler, our wood epoxy, is actually set up and completely cured. In this case, we've allowed it to sit for several days. We're coming back to the job now to uh, work on sanding and then refinishing the window. Uh, so what I'm going to demonstrate now is actually uh, just that the product is very easy to sand by hand. And then we'll actually come back and do the majority of the sanding with an electric palm sander. You can see that the product is really actually very easy to do by hand. We have some high spots though, so we're gonna we're gonna hit that with the electric palm sander just to kind of speed up the work a little bit. Our woody pox is all sanded down. Uh, it's shaped to our liking. Uh, and the next step is going to be just to make sure that we've got all the dust and debris removed from the sash. So you just want to take a, a tack cloth uh, or a damp rag and just make sure that any loose debris, dust from the sanding uh, is completely removed. Uh, you also want to, uh, moving into the next step, we're, we're going to be placing our glass and our putty back into the glazing rabbit. So you do want to make sure that all the, the paint and the putty has been removed uh, from the rabbit and then do a light sanding which we've already done. Uh, and there are a lot of different approaches to uh, reglazing and painting old window sashes. Um, ours is going to start by uh, we're going to prime the inside of the glazing bed using Prime Coat 8006-1 which is an epoxy primer made by Abitron. We're to the point where we're reinstalling the glass and we're going to install putty uh, to hold the glass in place. Uh, in this particular sash, uh, we've, you can see we've set the glass back into the glazing rabbits and we're going to install Sarco dual glaze um, glazing compound in order to hold the glass in place. Um, there are many different ways that people will do a, a putty installation. Uh, we're going to recreate the way that this sash was originally prepared. So we're, we're going to putty the outside uh, of, the, of the glass. Uh, we're not installing a bead of caulk or glazing on the inside of the window. Uh, so the first step, you can see that we've already set the glass back into the pane, but we're gonna install glazing points to hold the window in place while the putty dries. Uh, you can see the glazing points are just small metal pieces that you will, will press into the sash in order to hold the glass. You'll want these about every eight to 10 inches. You'll also notice too that there is a little bit of space on the inside uh, where the glass is sitting in the rabbit. You want about a 16th of an inch uh, allowance for the wood to expand and contract uh, so that the glass doesn't shatter with temperature changes and freeze thaw cycles. Okay, once your glazing points are set, you're ready to install your putty. And we are using uh, a putty manufactured by Sarco. It's called Dual Glaze. Uh, this particular product can be installed inside or outside, uh, and it stays flexible for a real nice long time, so you have a lot of time to work with it. Um, there's no single exact right way to get the putty placed into uh, the glazing rabbit, but the idea is that uh, you're gonna come back and press this uh, against the, the window itself and against the, the actual sash to create a good bond. So really the idea is just to get some putty in there so that you can come back and tool it to create that bond. Okay, once your putty is in place, the idea is to press it uh, so that you create a real good seal uh, adjoining the actual window pane to the sash. So you're going to scrape off the excess putty and really press it in there. So 
that you can come back and clean it up. So you're going to take uh, just your standard putty knife um, and start at one corner. You want to create about a 45 degree angle to the glass and just pull it nice and smooth, pressing lightly against the glass and creating that nice tight seal to the sash itself. Work your, work your way down from one end to the other, keeping that 45 degree angle, and then mitering it at the corner. And you can come back and touch it up. If, uh, if the putty knife drags a little bit or if you have some, some off marks, you can come back with a little linseed oil and touch those up. And the last step uh, now is to apply a, a product that's called, uh, it's called whiting in the, the window repair industry. Uh, which is basically just calcium carbonate. And what this is going to do, it's going to soak up the oil that's left behind by the glazing putty uh, to kind of clean up the glass a little bit. It'll also uh, assist a little bit in helping the putty skin over. So we're just going to sprinkle some of that around and we're going to dust all that oil off of the glass. Okay, we've allowed our glazing putty to skin over, uh, so that's firmed up a little bit. And we're moving on to the last step, which is priming and painting. So we're coming back and we're going to prime the entire sash uh, using the same epoxy primer that we used for the glazing bed earlier in the process. So we're using Prime Coat 8006-1 from Abitron, uh, and we're going to prime the wood sash with this, uh, being careful not to prime the glazing putty. Just to do a real quick recap of what we've done so far is we've taken this exterior storm sash that was literally falling apart into pieces in places uh, and we've completely uh, restored the window so that it's operable again. Uh, so we've stripped it of all of its paint and the original putty. Uh, we took all the paint off using a clear strip product from Abitron. Uh, then we uh, removed the glass, uh, stripped all of the, the glazing putty out. Uh, we uh, Reprime the sash. We uh, replaced the, the glass and used Sarco putty to reinstall it. We moved on to priming the sash with Prime Coat 8006 1 from Abitron, and now we're moving on to our final step of painting. We're using an exterior grade, uh, high quality acrylic, it's a latex paint. We're going to do two coats of that, and then our window will be ready to be installed. Okay, our window project is complete and we're actually out just supervising the installation of the storm sash that, that we repaired, uh, watching them, get, watching them uh, being installed back up onto the house.